Hi, welcome to the Creative Grove. My name is Ingrid Blackburn, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make custom envelopes using our envelope punch board. The envelope punch board is an awesome new product that hit the market just about a month ago. And what you are able to do with it is make 66 different sized envelopes to fit any size card that you want. The other day, I created this card which has an odd dimension to it. It's three and three quarter inches by six inches. I don't have an envelope to fit it, so I thought, well, let's go ahead and create our own. I wanted to match the crumb cake paper here, so that's what I chose as my envelope. Now, I can't find the size on here. We have three and a half by six, and then the next measurement jumps to three and a half by six and a half, or there's a four by six. So since the four by six is the closest to my actual measurement, I'm gonna use that. It's actually probably a better measurement anyway, because I do have some height in my card and I'm using some pearls as well. So it will fit my card very well. I won't, it won't be too snug and that'll work just fine. So let me show you how I went ahead and did that. Now the envelope punch board comes in US sizes. It uses inches and eighths of an inch measurements. If you are in a country that deals mostly with metric sizes, you're gonna need this sticker that also comes with the envelope punch board. Your metric measurements are gonna be down below here and they are in the same shade as the base. So to see that a little bit better, why don't you run some white craft ink in that and that way you'll be able to kind of see that, it'll pop out. So we're going with a four by six card here and that tells me that I'm gonna need a paper size of eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and I'm gonna use the measurement of three and three eighths for my score line. You have a scoring tool right here that we're gonna use. I'm gonna take this eight and a quarter inch by eight and a quarter inch piece of paper, slide it in here, find my three and three eighths inch measurement. I'm gonna first punch, then I'm gonna use my scoring tool. I'm gonna put it right here in the groove, holding it alongside the right side, and that's my score line, and score to the edge. I'm then gonna go ahead and rotate it, place this score line against this little piece right here. I'm gonna have that go right in the center. I'm gonna punch again, and then I'm gonna go ahead and score. I might continue to do that all the way around my cardstock. So find that score line again, punch, Oops. take your time finding that groove, rotate, find that score line with that piece again, punch, and score. Now my first one you can see kind of was a little bit of an odd punch, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch that a second time. It kinda got stuck there, and that happens. So now we have a nice, clean envelope that's already scored and ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this envelope punch board around, and we're gonna use the reverse side here to punch a rounded corner. You can do that with any piece that you want, but I'm only gonna do it with the flap. Now I'm gonna fold in on all of my score lines, use my bone folder, or you can use the piece that came with the envelope punch board. And then we're gonna have these creases be nice and firm so that our envelope lays flat. This is gonna be our top piece right here. So these two are gonna come in and this bottom piece is gonna come up. Now you can see that we have a little bit of an excess, and I've already pre-measured it, that excess is exactly one inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my paper trimmer, and I'm gonna use the cutting blade. I'm gonna use this edge, the top edge, so that's nice and flat, flush against there, and I'm gonna make sure that my point goes to one inch and I'm gonna trim that off. You can do one of two things. You can either trim it off or you can fold it, and I'm gonna show you with both envelopes. So now when I bring that in, I have a nice, clean, easy, let me put another piece of paper in so you can see that. Nice, clean, easy flush line across. 
All I have to do is add some adhesive here and I'm good to go. I'm going to choose to use some sticky strip today and I'm going to use it along this side right here. Bring some down to the bottom, cut that off. I've used snail on this project before, but quite honestly, the snail will just come right up, especially here in Florida. So I would recommend using a different type of adhesive. Sticky Strip is nice and strong. You can also use Tombow Multipurpose Glue. The liquid glue will really have a nice bond between the two paper pieces. Or you can also use mini glue dots. I'm just going to bring this up to here. Use my bone folder or my tool from the envelope punch board. Give that a nice firm adhesion there. And there you go. You have your custom size envelope that fits your card perfectly. I know it's a little bit large, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I did want to show you another way of, if you're not in, interested in cutting, I just scored it one inch and then I just flipped that in there and I added a little glue to the inside. Uh, that gives it a nice smooth surface right here. So I hope you enjoyed that. I think that anybody would love getting one of these envelopes in the mail. You know, you have a custom colored envelope to match your card. You can also use designer series paper as well. I wouldn't use copy paper. It's a little too thin. You can also put a custom liner inside as you've seen on some of my other projects. And uh, that way you have a nice custom envelope. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't already, subscribe right here for exclusive content. You'll get projects, videos, specials, discounts, all sorts of things. But that's only to Creative Tips list members. And hopefully I'll see you around the blog or maybe even in the classroom. See you next time. Bye-bye.